Going into this, I faced so much doubt, so much criticism, but listen, I started my whole career making brain rot YouTube shorts. I'm used to being criticized. Ready to change the stages, bro. Will this new team live up to the hype? I think the team is simply destined to fail. All the haters out there, I must simply state that this is only the beginning of a dynasty. We are the DH Productions Formula One team, and we are here to win. Welcome back to Miami, and welcome to qualifying. Only raw speed will separate these drivers today, but the question is, who's got what it takes to get At off? DH Productions, we want to succeed so much in Formula One, but ultimately, that can be an incredibly difficult task as a backmarker team with no paid benefit. After a disastrous first race in Australia, I wanted to retire from Formula One for good, but ultimately, I knew what my goal at DH production was, and that was to take down Red Bull for good. In the second race weekend of the season in Miami, we wanted to do well because not only was this my home race, it was the team's home race as well. However, my plan was instantly derailed because of a crash in sprint qualifying and then a crash in the sprint race itself. However, it must obviously be noted that that was the sprint and nobody cares about the sprint. Like, look around in this room. Look around this office. Do you think anyone here cares about the sprint? No. It's money laundering. It's stupid. It's pointless. Nobody likes it. So, let's just get to the actual race weekend, shall we? Going through their minds right now. The faster you can work around the circuit conditions and get the car tailored to your Honestly, liking, Honestly, mate, I have better. to say that and then this car is an absolute tractor and the worst driver in Formula 1. Time. Why First of all, are you here? Why am I working right? for you? This is stupid. So, yeah, after what that now ex-employee of mine said, I immediately fired that guy, but, like, whatever, man. This season has obviously been a pretty disastrous one. I feel like this race weekend, we could actually mount a comeback. That is if our second driver, pictured there, can actually drive well. Instead of drive like an absolute maniac. <laughs> now, with the grid fully set for today's race, I can say that DH Productions have been put in the absolute best position that it has been for this entire season. None of these teams, none of these drivers here are ready for what we are about to cook up with the type of advantage we've gone qualifying. I qualified P19, my best qualifying of the season. And I feel that the race is going to be even better. I'm going to gain a lot of ground. I might even win. Racing driver in this partnership. So tell us about this racing driver. Put us in their shoes. How are they going to be feeling? Well, you've got to be prepared, Crofty. Before you even step foot in inside the car, you've got to know, you've got to have a, a pre-race game plan. You've watched videos before you get into the car of previous races gone by. You know where you have to place your car if X, Y, or Z happens in front of you or behind you. So having this clear game plan is absolutely essential before you get in the car. Fun of 
Blanche Stroll there. Ten second penalty. We'll be serving the pit. No, Mikey. No, no, Mikey. That was so not right. Did you just say Mikey or Michael there? Either way, that isn't my name. Whatever, we'll let the comment section decide that one. Honestly speaking, that might have been my lowest point F1. Not even the crashes, but being the pits for so long, only to see the pit crew struggle to replace the front wing. I felt this is all my fault, you know? All of this right here that the team has to go through is directly because of me, and I just, I just couldn't stand to see that, honestly. Ultimately, at DH Productions, our goal is to fight hard fight hard to achieve as much as we can with how little we have week in week out ultimately i couldn't do that as i finished the race p21 i could say i put up a respectable effort but ultimately it just wasn't enough for us to succeed